It's a big, fast world out there. Peugeot is staying on the cutting edge of competition in America and throughout the world. Running today's most technically sophisticated rally cars, the 405 Turbo 16, Peugeot claimed King of the Mountain honors with an outright win at the incredible 1988 Pikes Peak Hill Climb. Peugeot's new 405 not only won, but set a new all-time record, going up the mountain faster than any vehicle in the history of the race to the clouds. In addition, Peugeot captured back-to-back -back wins at the torturous 8,000-mile Paris Dakar Rally across the Sahara Desert, defeating the likes of Mercedes, Porsche, Toyota, Lamborghini, and 600 others. Pikes Peak lasts just over 10 minutes, while Paris Dakar lasted some three weeks. These events test the absolute limits of cars and men, from thousands of uncharted miles of the Sahara Desert's barren waste to the oxygen-starved 14,000-foot summit of Pikes Peak. Peugeot technology met the challenge. Closer to home, Peugeot was crowned national champion in the showroom stock B class. Peugeot won, not with special race cars, but as Clint DeWitt explains, with a stock Peugeot 505 Turbo. Really all we do is make sure that uh, everything is as it should be, up to stock conditions, make sure that all the lubricants are fresh, make sure all the nuts are tight, and so on, and of course install the required safety equipment. It is not a special racing engine. You're not allowed to do anything to soup the car up other than to very carefully tune it. All over the country, drivers entered their own 505s in Sports Car Club of America national races, intent on earning enough points to get invited to the national runoffs at the Road Atlanta racetrack in October. The fall classic of racing features the very best of more than 12,000 racers who compete all year for a national championship. Well, it's been a very successful first season. We started late in the year, so we didn't have the time to build up momentum. We were able to qualify six individuals for Road Atlanta, which is unusual for a first year in the motorsport operation. Well, it's a good testimony to the durability and dependability and the performance image of the Peugeot. Uh, we were able to, to use motorsport as a basis to prove to a motoring public the performance potential of our car. The Peugeot banner is carried by a dedicated group of amateur racers with winning on their minds. For Walt Bauer, a defense attorney from Oklahoma, this is his first season in showroom stock. I think the big selling point to me is the durability of the vehicle. Clint DeWitt is a veteran showroom stock racer who switched to Peugeot for a very good reason. I started out the year with a Toyota MR2 and uh, Peugeot came along, blew my doors off, and I went and I bought a Peugeot. Tom Hughes won five races in six outings. Probably the most competitive car we've found in the class. They're amazed by it, totally amazed. Dr. Gary Brown from Oklahoma City was making his first appearance at the runoffs after a season where he put his 505 Turbo in the winner's circle seven times. And then the thing that surprised me is uh, that a four-door car handles as well as it does. Uh, the suspension is uh, phenomenal for what we do to it. It really is. Victor Van Tress drove his 505 all the way from California to Georgia just to run in this one race. We were so pleasantly surprised to find out how competitive the car was out of the get-go. When the race started, the Peugeot teams were ready. We have a green. Good start. Very clean this time. Now the jockey's for position is going to get real crowded this one. The Peugeots aren't hard to pick out at this race. The luxury sedans look out of their element on the racetrack, but then looks can be deceiving. Using the Peugeot's strong N9T engine to its best advantage, Van Tress and the red double zero powered to a lead on the very first corner. This is very serious racing where a lapse in concentration or a mechanical failure can have disastrous consequences. Some drivers found their cars not up to the grind and challenge of all-out performance competition. For one Peugeot driver, though, it was just another Sunday drive. 
Yeah, I kind of walked away from them, but it was, you know, like I say, it was just because they were arguing back there. They, they could have gone as fast as I did, but uh, I didn't have to dice with anybody, and they were dicing, and I was in my own air, could regulate my own speed, and uh, I pretty much had a good time. I missed my stereo. I want my stereo back. But Brown and the white number 50 had a much harder time of it. Oh, here they come! Well, I tell you, I had to work. I had um, four or five different cars the whole race right on my tail. Well, at the end of the day, I was about 10 car lengths ahead of the third place car, so I felt good. It was a flag-to-flag -flag victory for Van Tress and a 1-2 finish for Peugeot. Brown's second place car would later be excluded on a technical violation. That, however, did not detract from the incredible showing that Peugeot made in its very first attempt at the national championship. Officials were hard put to remember a time when a brand new player in this ultra competitive class had come on so strong and completely dominated. Said one observer later, Peugeot is clearly the best in the field. Anyone who is serious about winning in 1988 will have to be in a Peugeot. That turned out to be an understatement as Peugeot won some 50 national races in 1988. Uh, I think the big, the big factor with Peugeot is the, the ease to drive it. It's a make a hero out of anybody. I had made a national champion out of me. <laughs> From the deserts of Africa to the top of Pikes Peak to the racetracks of America. A heritage of winning. A tradition of excellence. Peugeot technology leading into the future. The mountain, Pikes Peak, 14,100 feet. The road, 12 and one half miles, 156 corners. Every July for 66 years, the road and the mountain become the highest racetrack in the world. Teams from all over the world come for one chance to become king of the mountain. This year, Ari Vatanen knows that the sunshine at the bottom of the mountain is a cruel joke. As he buckles into his Peugeot 405 Turbo 16 and prepares to challenge the peak, word is radioed from the top. Rain. Hail. Ice. The race to the clouds does not wait for clear weather. Only the brave need apply. Vatanen's Peugeot is the product of intense technology. It boasts a 16-valve turbocharged engine producing 600 horsepower, four-wheel drive, four-wheel steering, and state-of-the-art aerodynamics. It's man and machine against the mountain. His goal is to set a new absolute record for the race, but the current record was set a year ago under ideal conditions without a hint of rain or ice. Vatanen will later say, I had resigned myself to just tire testing because of the terrible conditions. Halfway up the mountain, the road turns into a quagmire of ooze, water, and ice.
The 405 clutches and strains for traction as Vatanen uses every inch of the road. It is now simply a test of wills. The will of the driver and his car against the mountain and the weather. For 10 minutes and 47 seconds, the struggle goes on. As Vatanen and the 405 come out of the last corner, the stopwatch tells the story. They have gone up Pikes Peak faster than any car in history. Peugeot, king of the mountain.